Welcome, my friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm back with my friends, uh, Jeff and Aaron Younger, and back in s sunny San Diego. <laughs> uh, and they're rub they've been rubbing it in because, you know, obviously it's still definitely warmer than where I am right now. But hey, uh, that's how it is. Uh, Jeff and Aaron are wonderful, wonderful wedding photographers. Uh, they run several businesses out on the West Coast. And uh, really, they're, they're, they're mentors to many, many, many photographers. And I, you know, I thought... We should just have them back here. And coincidentally, um, <laughs> Shoot.Edits got them back as well as um, webinar presenters in the next couple of days. They're going to be talking about discovering your ideal photography client, which is so crucial, so crucial to have to, to, to be, have that clarity. So Jeff and Aaron, thanks for joining me again. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be with you again. It's good you know, to be with you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. The last time we, we spoke about blogging and how important it is for photographers. Yeah. Uh, but I think you almost have to rewind a little bit and, and, and talk about who you're really speaking to first. And mm -hmm. that's your ideal client. And, yep. I, you know, I feel like that's where most photographers sort of lose track of what, what, they, what they should be doing for their business. They, they seem sort of, you know, distracted by wanting to serve many people which is a good thing of course but if it's just all over the place and they don't have that focus or clarity clearly they're gonna get off track very quickly um mm -hmm. so tell tell us a little bit about your background i mean how did you find your ideal client perhaps that might be <laughs> indicative of how other people can find theirs yeah exactly i think when we when we talk about blogging when we talk about marketing it's um, it's a great conversation to have, but there's a foundational um, point that you need to know and that you need to be clear on in order to really, truly be effective at blogging and effective at your marketing. That is, who are you writing to? Who are you marketing to? Who are you trying to attract? And who is it that ultimately you want to be working with? You know, mm -hmm. every photographer has a dream client that you really love. They're the people that when you get to work with them, you come alive. And that's really wonderful. And Jeff and I started feeling that way about certain clients early on in our business. We had a certain network of people that every time we got to work with someone from this specific friend group, we just enjoyed it yeah. so much. We just loved working with them. There was just something about them that made our job really fulfilling. Um, you can probably talk a little bit more about you know that network too. It was just really really awesome. Yeah, I mean, we were really fortunate when we were getting started that we had the ability to kind of pick and choose. And so as we were picking and choosing, it was like, well, let's choose these guys. And why do we keep <laughs> why do we keep defaulting to this network? Why is it? Why is it? And it it really started to reveal part of, you know, what was behind these people. And what we found was that it wasn't that we were always excited about being in a certain ballroom or a certain venue or we were excited about the light being a certain way. That was not what was making us super excited about these different weddings. It was the people. And they all shared some commonalities. And we realized that those commonalities were way deeper than the surface. Okay. And when we started to dig into that, um, our ideal client's picture came really a lot, a lot more clearly into focus. Awesome. So uh, jumping ahead into the webinar, which is coming up in the next couple of days, I think... Uh, most people will wonder, like, how you, are you going to walk us through to figuring out who our ideal client is? Is that the idea? Yeah, so there's going to be, I'm going to be giving you some really solid framework of um, how to find your ideal client, some really solid steps of how to get there. Um, Jeff and I taught for a little while um, some workshops where we sat down with photographers for two days yeah. and we helped them all figure out who their individual ideal client is. And what was so remarkable is that by the end of those two days, everybody had this really in-depth, crystal clear profile mm -hmm. of who their particular ideal client is. And guess what? Nobody had the same one. Of but right. when we all started, everyone thought that they had the same one. You know, they thought they were competitors. Yeah. They're like, wait, we're going after the same people. Yeah. But then at the end of day two, they read their profile and they could not be more different. Yep. And so they all realized they were collaborators. And so I firmly believe that every single photographer has a very different ideal client. Yep. And my ideal client is not your ideal client. You probably don't want to shoot my clients. <laughs> you probably don't like it. And that's okay. Right, right. So, 
it's very, it's different for everybody, and I love that. That you know, that is such an important point that uh, that's missed by so many photographers. Uh, that you know, they are they all seem to be chasing the same clients in their minds, but when they start working with them, they figure, okay, well, this is how I respond to them in this way, and that makes me feel good. This is who they we really need to scale. You know, um, talk talk to me a little bit about uh, in terms in terms of the. The process itself is there some one process one step that you can reveal to us now uh, that would sort of get people sort of excited about the webinar yeah so when um, when I give people just a little tidbit of like okay here's a first starting point to mm -hmm. finding out who your ideal client is um, I tell them to take a look at all their past clients if you have a list of past clients if you're just starting out take a look at your network take a look at your friends um, and see who in that group you would love to photograph. Mm -hmm. um, you know, are you just like, oh, if that, you know, my sister's friend got married, I would so love to shoot her wedding. Or I would love to shoot this family. Think about those people and write down your favorite past clients and take a look at those people first. And there's a lot more to it than that. But look at those past clients and say, you know, why, what was it about these people that I love? That's where we started. Yeah. Um, is it their values? Is it their families? Is it their personal style? Is it their, you know, what they look, are they adventurous? Are they um, foodies? Are they, you know, there's a bunch of different things that you can try to draw commonalities from these, yep. from these past clients. And look for, and really look for value-based things in that. Like, mm -hmm. I think the, the, the um, tendency for a lot of people is to, is to gravitate towards like what the external um, almost symptoms of those values are. So don't look at the kind of cars they drive. Don't look at the purses they wear. Don't look at any of that. That's not important. Look at the why behind all those things. Look at the values. And so once you can kind of discover those commonalities, that'll actually be the first step in, in kind of figuring out who your ideal client mm -hmm. is. This is so interesting, guys, because you know the, the traditional way of uh, defining your your target audience uh, is to to find out what they're wearing what cars they're driving you know how big their houses are how many kids they have you know all this stuff right and, yeah. and it, it seems like you're moving completely away from that you, opposite you, yeah yeah you can the, the opposite direction exactly you can start with those those are the most obvious places to start and that's why we start there is because we can see what car they drive we can see what clothes they wear but there's a reason why they're doing those things. There's a reason why they choose that personal style. And that's where you want to end up. You want to end up knowing why they choose what they choose. Mm -hmm. sure. Because right. that's going to tell you um, how they make decisions. And that's, what, that's ultimately where you are connecting with them. You're connecting with them on their values. You could be wearing completely different clothes, but you could be wearing completely different clothes for the same reason. Yeah. And that's why you're connecting with them. Awesome. So that's that's how you're going to market to them most effectively. So like a, another another example with that would be like a lot of our clients have big homes, and it's not helpful at all to know that our clients have big homes. All that we know from that is that we can sell them really big art. But when we started looking at all of our clients and seeing why they have big homes, it's because they like to host, because family's important. They all of these people would have these huge dining room tables because Thanksgiving needs to be at our house. And Christmas needs to be at our house. And so that actually tells you something about your clients, not just that their house has four bedrooms. You know? <laughs> indeed, indeed. Wow. That's great. Uh, that's, so that's a little tidbit, I think, that people can take away from, the, uh, from this conversation. Hopefully they will, they will say, hey, you know, we need to learn more from you guys on, on, on Wednesday. Um, let me ask you this, though. What, what about the, the notion that uh, just as much as you are trying to find your ideal client, is your ideal client also trying to find their ideal photographer? Is it possible that they're also trying to connect with you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that that's completely true. And that's, that's your job as a photographer and as a marketer. Your, um, your services need to intersect with your ideal client's picture of happiness. So they know what they want. They have a picture of it. And they have a picture of their ideal vendors. And your job as a marketer is to intersect your business with their picture of happiness. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a challenge. But when you know who you're going after, when you know what values you're connecting with, you can know where to find them and you can figure out how you're going to intersect with their pictures of happiness and have more of them book you. Wow, yeah. fantastic. Okay. Wow. You know, it's this sort of like laser clarity, I guess, that people would love to, to learn from. And they're going to do that on Wednesday. Uh, it's coming up 
rather quickly. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have this this blog post up uh, very, very soon. Um, you are at theyoungruns.com and you blog. By the way, your blog is phenomenal. Theyoungruns.com slash blog. We'll have links to all of that down below, including the the registration uh, link for the webinar. Uh, it's thanks to shoot.edit, uh, a wonderful what also San Diego based uh, oh, yeah. company. Um, look at that. Look at the co- coincidence there. Yeah. Adds up. Uh, it's it's a company that does uh, that helps uh, mostly wedding photographers. I, I imagine uh, yep. essentially get their life back together again. Uh, mm-hmm. To put it bluntly, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, thanks yes. so much for joining uh, me today, guys. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, you, you know your your advice, your your counsel is just so so profound. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for Thanks having for us. us. Absolutely. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Yep, you too. Bye. Bye. 